Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this clip, we continue our series on bowed roller failure modes by looking at what happens when you crowd a bowed roller into a small space. Yet another surefire way to cripple or kill a bowed roller is to crowd it too close to the upstream or downstream rollers. Understanding why this is requires understanding how the bowed roller works. Recall from our Web 101 class the mechanics of the bowed roller in the bowed roller mode. The streamlines or paths of different segments of the web are defined largely by the normal entry law that was also covered in our class. These mechanics apply to both a full width web as well as a web slid into individual lanes. As we learned in our Web 101 class, the ingoing section of the system is the working section. Reducing that span length by crowding the upstream roller reduces the amount of expansive spreading work that is available. As we learned in our Web 101 class, the web must adjust from an outward directed path as dictated by the normal entry law to a parallel entry to the downstream roller. If this is too crowded, two bad things might happen. First, you might have to decrease the bow magnitude and thus reduce the amount of spreading. Second, if you don't and the path length is too abrupt, you can wrinkle. Yes, as we learned in the Web 101 class, you can just as easily make wrinkles via poor spreader application, and this is just one of many ways. How much span length is needed is impractical to model. Thus, we have to rely on not merely experience, but studied experience. Studied means literally going to school and reading the papers. Experience means seeing and recognizing failure modes under a wide set of circumstances. The industry most at risk is the paper mills, not so much because they are not studied or experienced, because they are for the most part, but because they have packaging challenges far greater than other industries. Because widths approach 10 meters, the L over W, or length over width ratios, are a crowded 0.1, compared to the more open, say, 1.0 found in converting. So I will give you a very crude guideline just for paper mills. That is, one foot is reckless. One yard is still risky, except immediately after a coder, where even that may not be a nearly enough if hygroscopic expansion is high. Thank you so very much for watching this module and my plant practical video clips. Stay tuned in the next clip where we will describe yet another bowed roller failure mode that is particularly troublesome with after slitter applications, namely poor curvature quality.